morning everyone it's now making i go from gospelthroughouts.com it's a beautiful thursday happy thursday to you all i'm ready it's a rainy day i'm still in the car i'm parked in the go train station i just want to wait here do my devotional and then go in uh, because it's rainy today um yesterday was very very hot but usually the mornings it rains and helps the plants to go through that hot season and it's the same for you and I we have our Lord Jesus always nourishing us refreshing us daily 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 we are so blessed that we can run to him we can call on his name and we can lift his name up he can nourish us I want to encourage you from Philippians chapter 2 verse 1 and 1 onwards it says your life in Christ makes you strong and his love comforts you you have fellowship with the Spirit and yes you have kindness and compassion for one another I urge you then to make me completely happy by having the same thoughts sharing the same love and being one soul and mind don't do anything from selfish ambition or from a cheap desire to boast but be humble towards one another always considering others be better than yourselves and look out for one another's interest not just for your own the attitude you should have is the one that Christ Jesus had. He always had the nature of God. He, but he did not think that by force he should try to remain equal with God. Instead of this, of his own free will, he gave up all he had and took the nature of a servant. He became like a human being and appeared in human likeness. He was humbled and walked the path of obedience all the way to death, the, his death on the cross. For this reason, God raised him in the highest place above, gave him the name that is greater than any other name. And so in honor of the name of Jesus, all being in heaven, on earth and in the world be below and fall on the ne their knees and all will openly proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. My brother and sister, this is a glimpse of how God raised Jesus up when Jesus humbled himself. Jesus is equal to God. We know that God Jesus and the Holy Spirit are one person and they are equal. Jesus still had the authority as God, but he humbled himself under the Father God. And because he humbled himself, God raised him up and gave him the name that is higher than any other name. My brother and sister, humility is the best way to go. Many times we don't want to be humble. We want to be, to be proud, to have our rights, to not to be humiliated. But God asks us to love one another and not consider ourselves higher or consider our interests, but to put the interest of others in front of us. Many times it is a hard thing to do. Always we want to have our say, let's Let's say if we are sharing something, we want to always say what we want to talk about. We want to always share what we want to share. But let us consider one another. Let us find the interest of one another. Encourage one another. It's not about me, me, me. But it, it's about others. It's about you. It's about others. My brother and sister, we can learn a lot from Jesus. He was, he knew he's still God, but he still humbled himself and he carried the plan that God had. And he, because of his sacrifice, because of his humility, God raised him up to be the highest.
highest. God gave him a name that would bow down to him. Every name, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. My brother and sister, this is the honor that God gives for people who are humble. Humble before God and say, God, I need you. I cannot do anything without you. My brain, my wisdom, my knowledge, my work cannot surpass the favor that you can give me. God, my works are like filthy rags compared to the glory, compared to your compassion and love towards me. You've said that your love is greater and higher than anything. Nothing can separate you and I from God's love. So my brother and sister, Whatever you might be facing today, consider yourself child of God. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. At the due time, he will exalt you. In your workplace, maybe you feel that you need to fight back. Close that mouth, zip that mouth, humble yourself. And at the due time, God will exalt you. Maybe in your family situation, God says to the husband and wife, to husband to love the wife as Christ loved the church. And the wife to submit under the husband. Many times we don't want to do that. But God is asking us to be humble and subject and to be submit to one another. And God will, God will exalt us. God is so faithful, my brother and sister. He is so faithful. We can learn a lot from Jesus. We can learn a lot about Jesus' greatness because of his humility. So my brother and sister, whatever your day might be, trust in him, hope in him. If you are a grandma, whatever God has asked you to do, humbly do it, knowing that the reward is coming from God. You are a worker, you are in working in a company, in a place. Humble yourself, obey the rules, and do what God has asked you to do. At the due time, God will exalt you. He is so faithful, my brother and sister. I have this beautiful song I was listening in the, in the car. Let me see if I can play it to you before I go. It was so beautiful, it's called Lord, I lift your name on high. You and I all know that song. Let's sing together. And uh, let's see if I can. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth To show the way From the earth to the cross My debts to pay From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to us. To show the way from the earth to the cross, my debts to pay, from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. This is the song I used to sing when I was a young girl. And we all love this song. We know how much God did for us. He came from heaven, from his glory humbled himself and came for our defense, came for our rescue. And because of that, our God, the Father, 
gave him the name that is higher above every other name that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord I hope you have a wonderful day my brother and sister enjoy yourself and may God bless you he's so faithful he's with you walking with you fighting your battles and being the God that you need so commit your days to God commit your ways to God he will be with you have yourself a wonderful day God bless you bye